today's video, we're going to demonstrate using F5 Access Policy Manager with Okta's MFA. We'll start off by looking at how to configure MFA for Radius Authentication in Okta. If you're at your dashboard, click Security, then Policies. And we'll click on the Okta Single Sign-On. And we'll need to add a new policy. We can call this whatever we like. Radius MFA is what I'm choosing for this demo. And now we'll assign it to the group. Since this is a demo environment, we'll apply it to everyone. Click Create Policy and Add Rule. Now we're going to add a general rule. You can call this, again, anything that you like. We'll call it MFA for Radius. And there's a couple of options. We want it for everyone. And then Authentication via. This is important. We have to check Radius. And then Access is Allowed and Prompt for Multi-Factor. Now you have several options here. Per session allows you to have a lifetime for the session, uh, every time, or per device. Now since this is a demo environment, we will leverage the every time, and we'll probably set our session time to something small, like 10 minutes. And when you're done, click Create Rule. Now we can move on to the F5 Access Policy Manager configuration. So we're going to create a new access profile. In this example, we'll call it MFA. And the profile type will be all. Now we'll have to select the language, and then we'll click Finish. Before we can get into creating the Visual Policy Editor, we need to create our Radius AAA object. So click on AAA Servers, Radius. We'll call this Okta. We'll do a direct connection. If you have multiple Radius agents, you can, of course, load balance to those. We'll use a default port, and we'll set our secret. And when you're done entering this, the rest of the values are default. You can click Finish. Now, once this is done, we can go back into our Access Profile, and we'll start to edit the Visual Policy Editor for the MFA profile. Now, we're going to use one of the built-in templates so select the Radius and Resources. This will give us a login page, a Radius authentication, and a resource assigned so we can use a web top. So extend the macro and modify the Radius to use the new Okta AAA object we created. And on the resource assign, we're going to use a web top and a web top link that already existed. So add a new entry, click the Add and Delete, Click on Web Tops, and of course, choose one that exists. And then I have a Web Top link for the F5 website, and click Save. Now, you can use Okta to perform the username and password verification. Okta also has an early access feature that would allow Okta to just do the multi-factor. If that's something you'd like to leverage, call Okta Support, and they can turn that feature on. Now, once we are done here, we're going to add this macro into the main policy branch. Click Add Item. And we're going to need to modify our ending. They're both deny. Of course, we need to have one set to allow. Otherwise, this isn't going to work. And once we have that configured, we'll click Apply Access Policy. Now that we have an access policy built out, we need to assign this to a virtual server. So go back into your local traffic, virtual servers, and I have one pre-configured called MFA. I'm going to scroll down to the Access Policy section and choose the appropriate profile and click Update. Now we can take a look at what this looks like from a demo perspective. I'm going to log into the F5 Access Policy Manager. And I'm presented with an option on how I want to do MFA. I'm going to choose the Okta Verify, which does a push notification to my phone. The F5 waits for the response back from the Okta Radius, and I'm allowed into my application. Thank you for watching this demo on F5 Access Policy Manager's integration with Okta MFA. For more information, please check out devcentral.f5.com or okta.com.